and I have uh, the movers and shakers of this show, Sangre Negra. I have Gavin with me, Gavin Kennedy, right? right. Gavin, tell us um, what your role is on, on this show. I am the executive producer. What, what does that mean? Are you the man that writes the checks? Exactly. <laughs> wow, so how did you, um, how did the show come to your laps? How did you get to be involved with the show? Well, I met uh, Frank and Tony. We got together and we made a plan and we start in less than two weeks, make it happen, right? That's right. What, what did you see? You saw the synopsis, the script, what, 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 what was it they sold to you? Or they just talked to you about it? No, they talked to me about it and I saw a lot of talent, special Tony and also special Frank is a good director, both of them together. In addition, they had add me, so it was really good, you know. Well, that's a wonderful combination, talent versus um, um, years of experience, right? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Tony, can you just come closer a little bit? No, 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 stay right here, just come closer a little bit to us. So, so Tony, what, you, so what do you, I know you're the lead actor, but um, what else do you do on the show? Uh, the writer. Writer, yeah. You're the writer. To come up with uh, all these scripts in ten minutes. <laughs> That's, what he said. That's right. That's right. about it. Sometimes, yeah. Right. Excellent. How, how long have you been writing? How long have I been writing? I've been writing for a long time. Like um, when I was in college, I won a lot of writing competitions and I got a scholarship and everything like that for writing. So professionally, about seven years. Wow, that's yeah. good, you know. Wow, yeah, that's amazing. That's uh, that's a uh, while, you know. So, I mean, how did the whole concept come? Do you see it in a dream? You know, because I've talked to different writers. There's some people say they dream about and um, something, and you know, they start putting pen to paper. How how do, what, how do you get your own inspiration? Um, actually, I got inspired by the the lack of stuff that's on television for people of color you know not so much shows because now especially more shows are happening but the kind of roles that we get they're pretty much stereotyped and I looked at when I was a kid the shows I used to enjoy were like Dallas and Dynasty and and you know shows like that That's right. you know right. so I decided that hey let's do that same show but instead of having it the way it typically is let's have it with lat Latinos basically as the main the main solid rock. They're rich. They're the glamorous ones. They're the ones who own. They're the ones who are the movers and shakers. You know what I mean? Wow, that, that's amazing. It's so much empowering when you can make a show about your own people that you're passionate about, and um, you know you call the shots. That's that's a lot of power, my friend. You know? hey, exactly. He that's better, right. That's better. right. Because if it's we better. don't if we don't call the shots, nobody else is going to call it for us. That is so true. That is so true. And 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 I'm I'm, I'm excited with shows like Empire. What is done? How it's broken all the barrier. And and I. It's helped us bring a lot yes. of people with money will listen to you now. It's open doors, you know. That that's a great thing. Because what it is is all we all it takes is for one to open up. The Hollywood is pretty much a follow. Exactly. They follow things mm. because they're scared. Everybody's scared. Mm. But when one thing happens, everybody's oh, let's do that. Right. Exactly. So, right. That's the stereotyping or typecasting in Hollywood, right? Exactly. exactly. Well, I, I, you guys are. Those barriers now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So, um, I know you have big plans for this show. Is there any network that you will really love to see this show on? All of them. No, no. Uh, <laughs> like to say on every single network. Well, I, I'm sure. I'm sure after after one year, it's going to be syndicated. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, for sure. Exactly. Maybe. HBO. Maybe. Yeah. HBO, maybe HBO, or that's his dream network. Um, that's well, my well, dream. Gavin, don't you think that's a little bit limiting as far as the reach? HBO is not as broad as uh, one of the major networks, you know. Here's the, here's the thing, and um, the reason he brought that up was because you have more of a, a opportunity to, to to shoot everything. You know? Freedom. You don't have as much exactly. censorship, right? Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, yeah, you know. But there are some like TNT is good. Um, USA, USA Network. They're really good. That they're getting more, less conservative, and of course, um, Nuvo, Nuvo, and there's a company called Crackle, which Crackle. is part of Sony. They're interested, and then there's a, Epic, Epic, yeah, Epic. Epics. They're um, is, that, is Epic TV or I thought they just do like the uh, in streaming online digital content. Oh, yeah. They have a they have a VOD VOD too. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Have it in okay. York, yeah. And of course, there's Hulu, and of course, there's the big one, Netflix and Amazon. But you know, the sky's the limit with this show because we have, you know, we have an icon like Eric Estrada as our 
you know, patriarch. Yeah. We have Isai Morales to play his brother. We have um, Eric Roberts is a recurring role in there. And there's a lot of other guest stars are going to come up. There. Ramo, uh, Rabo Miano is still in. Miano, yeah. Great Rabo Miano, who was in The Godfather and in Donnie Briscoe and stuff. He's a regular. So we have a lot of name veteran talent, as well as a lot of newcomers who are really, really good and talented. But the biggest one is right here. <laughs> uh, I, I was going to say so. <laughs> That's my big game. My hey, favorite one. Yeah. Uh, honestly, Tony, how much did you pay him to say that? Uh, wait, wait, I haven't paid him yet. How much do you want? You owe him real yeah. for that. <laughs> to go to Chase down the street. Ah, uh, he know that. He know that. <laughs> well, it looks like you guys have all the ingre ingredients for success. I uh, wish you guys the very best. And um, are you guys trying to reach out to people with money to come in on the show on, on this level? Or is there anything like that? Always, I don't know. There's, opportunity. there's always opportunities for people who want to invest exactly. in something that's growing and getting bigger by the day so yeah definitely how can how can people reach you we have a website www.sangrenegre the series.com wow <laughs> one more time <laughs> oh okay there you go all right one two three all right www.sangrenegre the series.com s a n g r e N E G R A V T H E series S E R I E S dot com. You believe that? We're doing the spelling. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get anything wrong. You didn't want to tell it to the camera, you wanted to tell it to him. Right? Exactly. Oh, that's right. Okay, we're going to do it again? No. Let's talk to Frank. All right. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yes, you can contact us at Sangre Negra the series. That's www.sangre negra the series dot com. Thank you. Wow, that was good. That was good. Thank All right, Gavin and Tony, it's been a pleasure talking to you guys. Go enjoy the rest of, your, of the party. Thank you. Thank you.